everybody and welcome on my YouTube channel. You are with uh, Alan Rees and today we are on Heroes Arena to continue the review of Heroes that I began last week. And today we will review one Heroes that I bought uh, yesterday. It's Admiral. Admiral is in the family of uh, warriors, so uh, like Tyrants that I uh, reviewed uh, on Friday, uh, this hero has a pretty good uh, survivability, it's a really powerful uh, offensive hero with good ability effect and uh, with not so hard to play but you have uh, some mechanics that you must uh, understand. About her uh, statistic, actually it's interesting to see that she has a good pool of HP in the early game, so 2940, she has some uh, mana. Mana is her main problem in early game, after uh, some uh, level it's begin to be uh, comfortable, but in early game you launch uh, two three spells and she is uh, out of mana. Interesting point. A physical attack 161.7 it's even more height than the uh, pure physical damage dealer who have uh, usually 150 in the uh, early game other stats are uh, classical she has a uh, interesting speed in early games 391 so uh, uh, she's not slow and it's uh, really good and uh, uh, regeneration statistic 14.25 uh, for uh, health and 3% for uh, mana it's uh, really really slow for the mana in early game i insist about this point and we will see now her skills Her passive skill is a current, it's a support skill. Admiral increases her movement speed by 20% for 2 seconds and Vortex, Surge and Tsunami will add air disturbance on the target hit by them. So uh, Vortex, Surge and Tsunami, it's uh, the third, uh, the fourth and the ultimate uh, skill. So, first skill, physical, swell. Admiral deals 175 physical damage to the target. The ability causes additional damage, 87.5 physical damage, if the target is affected by uh, air disturbance. The ability may trigger a critical hit. It's really, really interesting because, first of all, in the early game, it's one skill who has a good uh, synergy and who can deal critical, critical strike. So, in the end game, when you have all the stuff of Admiral, you can deal uh, more than uh, 1000 damage with this uh, skill. Uh, third skill, Vortex, a physical skill also. Admiral unleashes a water pilar after a delay of 1 second. It deals 350 physical damage to the enemy units within range and floats them for 1.5 seconds. Also, apply uh, the debuff. Fourth skill, Surge, it's also physical. Admiral leaps to the intended location and deals 300 physical damage to the target. So you can chase uh, one enemy, you can escape from uh, enemies also, it's uh, interesting to know, and it applies the uh, debuff also. And finally, the ultimate skill, Tsunami. This one is uh, magical uh, in the uh, category, but it, it deals uh, physical uh, damage. So Admiral hurls a Tsunami towards the intended direction, dealing uh, 540 physical damage and er hurling the enemy units into the sky for one second. Tsunami grants all hero 10% movement speed boots and 20% damage reduced for uh, 3 seconds. It's interesting because uh, this skill, like uh, uh, it's wrote, it's uh, uh, damage uh, skills, but also he buff your allies, he buff uh, yourself, he reduce the damage uh, that you uh, take, and also it uh, stuns the enemy and applies the uh, debuff. So it's really strong and the cooldown is short, 44 seconds, it's really interesting. Like I told, I think it's a mistake, Tsunami is not magic, and it's a physical skill, it just uh, display a bug. So let's now see uh, her items. In my opinion, uh, for uh, items, you have uh, two possibilities. First possibilities, you are playing her uh, like initiator. And in this way, you will use the build number uh, 3, who is uh, recommended. You can change uh, some items, but I think it's uh, interesting uh, build. 
Second, you are playing a uh, like uh, DPS, and in this case, you will use the build that I will propose to you. The first one, I don't see any reason to play uh, with it. You have uh, some items defensive, some items offensive. I, I don't know, uh, perhaps it's uh, better when uh, we will play at height level and we will get some uh, interesting focus but at this moment I don't have this problem and I have a good survivability with the second build. But I change uh, three items. First item, I change uh, the boots. So like you can see I'm using uh, Hunter boots, attack speed bonus plus uh, 15 instead of uh, tenacity boots. I don't think that it's uh, so useful. Second item, I change uh, Blue Dimery. I replaced, uh, if I remember good, uh, Armor Breaker because you need some uh, lifesteal to regenerate and to not uh, go back to your base. So with uh, Blue Dimery, you add some physical damage and also, you can uh, chain, chain, chain and stay on the battlefield. If you need some life, you go on uh, creep and you kill them and recover your energy. Third uh, point, uh, I change the order of items. Third item, I put Force of Gods who was in fourth position and I think it's third position because it's a really important item. Every time that you are casting one of your spells, you will add the second effect, 100% physical damage to the basic attack within two seconds after casting an ability. The effect can be triggered every uh, 2.5 seconds. So if you play good, you can do your uh, water pillar, jump into the target and use the uh, pistolet and finally you will deal crazy damage uh, to the target. I told you in the introduction but you can sometimes do more than uh, 1000, 1500 damage with uh, the bullets that you will shot. So this item is really important and I think it's more important to have this item first than uh, this one. This, uh, so this one is edged stone, it's also a good item, physical attack 179, critical damage plus 15, CD reduction uh, plus 10, first effect physical penetration by uh, 120, second effect physical penetration by 40%. Fourth item, uh, five items, sorry, uh, sharp spear physical attack plus 134, attack speed bonus plus 30, and passive immune to uh, damage every 24 seconds. And finally, Gabriel physical attack plus 224, increase damage by 30% when target's health is lower than uh, 50%. So this build is really offensive. You you can farm on the line, you can go to regenerate in the forest on the creep and also online if you have uh, the possibility to do it and uh, you have a good uh, firepower. So uh, it's time now to see the runes that we will use with Admiral. As a blue runes for uh, Admiral, you will use physical damage, attack speed, critical, critical damage, and lifesteal. So, what I choose, attack speed uh, bonus, physical attack, attack speed bonus, critical rate, critical damage, critical rate, physical attack, and uh, physical attack, lifesteal, attack speed uh, bonus. I didn't put uh, so much uh, lifesteal because you will have with uh, your uh, first item uh, Bloody Mary, so it's not necessary to push push the lifesteal uh, so much. Second uh, rune, uh, red runes, we will use CD reduction and physical penetration as much as we can. And we'll finish with uh, defense, uh, physical defense and physic uh, magical defense. So physical defense, magical defense, uh, CD reduction. Physical penetration, tenacity, CD reduction, physical penetration, physical penetration, CD reduction, and physical penetration, tenacity, and CD reduction. For uh, purple runes, it's really important to have mana regeneration and mana, especially for the early game. And after, you can uh, continue with a speed bonus, it's, it's not uh, so bad. So, uh, mana regeneration speed, max mana, mana regeneration speed and speed bonus, max health, max mana, speed bonus, Elf regeneration speed, mana regeneration speed, and speed bonus, and finally max mana, mana regeneration uh, speed. I did with uh, what I have. If you have more mana regeneration bonus, it's really an advice because in the early game, it's uh, really, really uh, slow to have uh, your mana. So let's see now the abilities that we will use with Admiral.
As a general ability for Admiral, you have some possibilities. You can keep the heal that you have in the beginning of the game. You can use a shift. Shift is not bad, but like I told in my other reviews, the cooldown is really long. Even now, level 2, I, I, I get 10 seconds better, so I have 170 seconds. It's nearly 3 minutes. It's it's really long. After you can use uh, speed up. Speed up is really good. It's what I'm using uh, personally. Increase your arrows movement speed by 35% for 7.5 uh, seconds. And if you are initiator on the game, you can use also uh, deviate. You jump into the enemy and use uh, deviate and it will uh, give time for your allies to kill someone and it will make you uh, survive. Let's now see the offensive abilities. As an offensive ability for Admiral, you have some uh, possibilities. I think the best choice is Amphibble. Anyway, you are an uh, initiator or a damage dealer, you will jump into the target or into targets. You will activate Amphibble, reduce the magical armor and physical armor of the target by 25 and they will receive a good uh, damage. Frenzy is possible uh, before one uh, engage. Rack if you want to add some uh, true damage. True damage, uh, I recall one time for you that it doesn't care about uh, armor or magical armor of the target. Cripple uh, can be used for sure and uh, Frost can be used if you don't want that your uh, enemy escape so it depends of uh, what you like for uh, admiral offensive ability for the match uh, today we will uh, see what we will be able to do so first skill i'm choosing uh, water pillar it's uh, really important because you can control the enemy and the bullet is not so efficient till you don't have nothing to debuff the uh, target We will farm the creep. So in early game, I'm not dealing uh, so much uh, damage, but it will be enough. So now I will take uh, the bullet, so I can chain uh, water pillar and bullet to deal some uh, additional uh, damage. And I will go on the lane. They get the first blood. My uh, objective is to poke the enemy to make him uh, lost some uh, HP. So I will see if I am able to do it. But you see, I'm already uh, out of mana. Like I told, the, the mana in the early game is uh, really a problem. I took the uh, leap as a third skill. So it's interesting because uh, with the leap I can escape or engage. I miss him. We are already 4-1, I avoid him, we'll play under the tower and I get the kill. He didn't uh, do a great move. I will have some life steal now, so I will be able to recover my life. But I need to be really careful, because if he come back he can kill me uh, directly with his uh, two skill. I'm upgrading the bullet because now that I have the debuff it's really interesting to have the bullet with a high level. 6-3. To see the importance of the lifesteal now I'm uh, able to stay on the battlefield even with uh, low low life 
and uh, it gives me a lot of uh, possibility to uh, recover my life. I will continue with the bullet. And I'm nearly full life. And most I will have a physical attack, most I will uh, recover my life. <laughs> I avoid him, ultimate. He's nearly dead. Ah, oh, I miss him. And I don't have mana. <laughs> This lose. Ah, it's my fault. If I didn't miss him, uh, I could kill him, but I missed. Soon the mana problem will be solved. 11-4. But it doesn't really matter. For the moment, we are in the uh, bad situation. But I get a good farm on my lane. And uh, soon I will deal uh, crazy damage and I will be able to carry my team uh, without any problems. Just need to be little patient in early game. I saw my enemy. I will be careful with him because he's able to uh, kill me in two spell if I get the uh, the um, ignite on me. Oh, he already is away. Beam. So really good to assist. And my mana problem begin to be solved. Okay, I steal the, the kill because I need the mana regeneration, mana fountain, and I will get the kill. I don't know what she did, but uh, <laughs> one against three. And now I'm at 2-0, uh, I have a good farm, I will begin to be really efficient. I block his retreat. Third. Double kill and probably sells triple kill. Yep, triple kill. And I will recover my, uh, my life, you will see. Four enemies in front of me. Bloop. And I'm full life. That's why uh, life still is really important for this hero. You save a lot of time. You can also jump uh, over the wall. I will not engage, there are five middle, so <laughs> I will be uh, discreet. And now we will try to engage them. So oh, it will be nice. And I have my uh, Force of God item, so now it will be really nice for me. Every time that I'm using one skill, I get a crazy bonus uh, just behind. Just after, sorry. So my bullet skills is full. I think Lucent will uh, be die soon. I will block her retreat. She has the debuff. I will lock her retreat. And boom! 
<laughs> it was little much, I'm agree, but I don't want to give her any chance to escape with her uh, speed buff. And you see I'm already eating at more than 1000. And it will continue to grow up. 7-0. We have to take the big uh, monster. If nobody is coming, we will kill uh, kill it quickly. Oh, somebody is coming, so better to not stay. Oh. It's not me who gets the kill, but it's uh, it doesn't matter. We, we get the middle lane, and now we have 18-17, uh, we have even the lead in the score. And with my, uh, <laughs> with my feed, now I'm, <laughs> without any problem, I can carry the game alone. <laughs> in the middle. Boom! <laughs> One one thousand six hundred thirty. Like I told in the beginning of the game, it's just uh, crazy. <laughs> I used my uh, ultimate for nothing, and the game was uh, over. And finally, we get the win. I think I will be uh, MVP of the game without so much problem. Yes. It was a really good game. I really want to tell you, uh, don't be stressed if in the early game you are uh, late, you can come back really easily. Thank you everybody for watching uh, this uh, review. Like you uh, saw probably, I'm grinding little by little. I'm now uh, Diamond and I hope that I will be able to reach the uh, master level, but it's really difficult in a random game. Soon will come the uh, team play and it will be much more better. If you don't want to miss something about the actuality of the game, you can follow me on Facebook or Twitter in according of what you like and I'm uh, putting there all information about the game, patch, bug, all what you want, you can uh, find it uh, there. You can subscribe to my uh, YouTube channel if you like what I'm doing and if you want to support my work, you can uh, click on the last link in the right side of uh, the screen and you can also like my video and share it, it's helped me a lot. Thank you guys, bye bye.